Hello, hello. This is Pat with Patriska Papers. I'm out in the Bluebird Bungalow on a lovely spring day here in Georgia. And I am bringing you some freebies for middle of March. What is it? Not, it's not the middle of March yet. <laughs> but the, the into March, we'll call it that. I've got five freebies and a project to make with the freebies. But let's first talk about the freebies themselves. This may look familiar. This is a spring collage that is from last March was a freebie. And you can get that in the Petresca Papers Facebook group. You'd have to go to that upper bar and click on files and then go back to the March 2023 freebies. That will be there. And I will also add it to my Kofi, Coffee Kofi shop. And then there's also three, I'm going to call these solid, but they're not very solid, but they're a single tone on tone color. I've got a purple, a yellow, and a green. Also will be in the freebies. And this plaid, and this plaid is a paper I'm pulling from the John Quill Cottage. I did not use it in this particular journal, but it is on the background of one of the journals and it's also in the John Quill Cottage hidden paper clips and I will link this kit also below if you're your first time seeing it but this I am pulling out of that kit and giving it to you as a freebie because it just goes so nicely with these three freebies and for what we're going to be doing. Okay? Okay. So there are five freebies if you count last March's freebie. Okay. So what are we going to do with these? Well, you can do anything you want. I mean, you can make a journal cover with this. Use these as your signature pages, but today we're going to make a pouch. Now this is a throwback to last February. I guess I'm just throwing back a whole lot of things. When we created, oh, I don't, I can't find my Valentine one, which is what we did. I'll link that video below, but it's basically making a nice little pouch that has a back pocket. You can actually do two pockets. Oh, we may do that on this one. But it's an interesting origami fold that you do. So let's do it and the inspiration to revisit this is from Tracy Fox Foxy creatives creatives I think that's what she calls it she's doing a mass make March and she's doing hers a bit different I have a different little slant on mine so this is it it is using this, and I printed it in cardstock. Where are you? Right here. I printed it on card. And then I'm also printing the plaid and doing it on card. And then I have printed the purple on just copy paper. Okay. Now, this, 
is a different closure we're going to try also when we get to that point. But if this just opens up like that. and Oh my goodness, what have we got in here? Got some dresses that I'll be bringing out, so watch for that video. That's just a little sneak peek. And at the end of this, we are going to turn this. Where are you? Where are you? This one. This into a zine. Z I N E. It should be Zine, and I call it Zine, but it's a zine. It's like a little magazine, and we did this in February with the February freebie, but I thought we would revisit it again, just briefly, okay? Because it fits so nicely down in that pouch, okay? And you can see I've got my purple in there. All right. Let's get on with this. I am going to cut away and cut off all the white and possibly do a little bit of scoring and marking and I'll tell you what I do once I've done it and I'll come back and we'll get started again on that. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. All right, my white edges are cut off for the most part, that is not going to matter. And so let me set these out of the way for the cover flap. So you don't have to measure. You can do this with any size paper. Just square will make it very boxy. I would always have one side longer than the other and that's where you will fold. Now, I want to find middle, and I don't want to fold it in the middle. So I'm just going to use some Distress ink to just put a little mark there and there so that I know where middle is. I am going to fold my two sides matching in the middle. And again, this is a lot based on origami, but I do have some twists that I'm going to do, and I'm not sure I'm exactly straight. So let me do that. Let's see. Yeah. Like all origami, you want to be quite accurate. Okay, and a little burnish is good. All right, then I'm going to take this corner and putting my finger at that tip or my fingernail, I am going to fold that up. I want it to be quite accurate and then this one is folding up and you want them probably the most important part is to have a good tip there and this right here is straight across okay on both sides one. I don't know which way to turn the paper, which is better. I think it's this way because I want to see that tip and give it a good burnish. Now we flip it over and now these are going to come back to the back on both sides. And this is where we're going to apply just a bit of glue. Now most origami that you don't use glue. You have another fold that keeps whatever you've folded in place. When I did that 
it becomes very bulky. So I've decided to use a bit of glue. And so where the glue is going to go is right inside all four of these, just a little. Just let me show you just the tiniest bit along that edge. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. And then right along there on all four. Maybe you can see better that way. I don't know. So right there. Flip it around. Let's do all four. Now I have my glue press and I'll pull that out here in just a second. And I love my glue press but it's, the tip is so, is not as long. See the difference? I can get into some tight spots with that. And that is what I need for this. Okay, and now we are going to, I love this and I hate it at the same time. If I can hold it. I am going to concentrate on that corner and then glue around that little triangle flap. Same thing over here. And this corner up here, the two outer corners are the most important to make sure you have them glued down. Why not? Like that. Got a little extra glue. And it looks like I've got distress ink on my fingers. That's okay. This is all going to be covered up. Okay, flip it over. Let's do the same thing. Oh, we already did those. Yay! So the corner. I find if I start in that corner, I remind myself to give it little extra attention so I don't have to give it attention later and I think we're done with the glue that folds in and that folds in and give it a nice burnish all right now you can just fold like that along this edge, but the ruler really does help to keep it nice and straight. So you're sure that you're right at the base of that, those edges. All right, now we're gonna turn this over. And I think if you fold it again, you can see it's right pointing down that center. Okay, adjusting that fold just a little bit. All right, here we go. This is where the magic and the fun begins. You're gonna open these two up. You're gonna come to one side, probably the one closest to you. Put your finger down in those two corners. Okay, and just make sure that the paper is out. And then you're going to take this and you'll push down. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Push down. And then work this side down. And coax that down. Then you're going to flip it and do the same over here. Push that down. Make sure paper is not all bunched up in that corner and pull that down and now you've got a box and we're going to turn it into a pouch so let's pull these out these are my cards that I printed on cardstock and now I need to decide, let me pull the original out. Where are you? There you are. 
you want to have an overhang. So see, here's our pouch, our pocket box, whatever. And then this is going to come longer. And so I want, I want to line it up to that edge. And I want it to come down about that far. Let's see. There's where we are. We'll have an overhang. How much overhang did I do on this one? Let's just take a look. Looks like an inch and a little. So I think we'll just I think I'll do an inch and an eighth. Okay. And I really didn't want, I really don't want that pencil mark right there. Let's just flip it over and do an inch and an eighth. Do I want to do that first? Nah, it doesn't matter inch and an eighth right there and then let's cut that no we're not cutting yet oh my goodness okay there here is where we need another mark this is how wide we want it Okay, so I am going to use my little quick trimmer here and line that up. Keep this good for tags and keep this out because we are going to score possibly. All right, so that's this where that overhang is, turn it over, and now we're going to score. Mm -hmm. At the top of this, right along there. And that's gonna come across down there, right? And, this only needs to be maybe two inches, so I'm going to put that fold at two inches. And hold on to this. So now what we've got so far is our cover, our flap, the cover flap. You don't look straight. Mm, we'll trim me after. All right. Let's go ahead and glue this on. Let's get some scratch paper. And we want the glue on here. I'm using a glue stick. You can use, whoa, well, maybe it's not such a good idea. We can use our, our, our glitter glue or whatever liquid glue you've got. I'm going to take that out of the way. Slide that to there and burnish that on. think while I'm right here I'm going to do that little trim from where I didn't cut very straight. Okay. And while I'm here, I think that I will round my corners of this. 
that and that. All right, I can flip this over and glue that also. Okay. I'm such a messy gluer. Or my glue is just messy. I'm sure that's it. Okay. Now I'm going to fold that down on there. Glue off. All right. Now this is going to go. Let's do it this way. It's going to go onto that edge. Probably should have done that before I glued the other on. But we can do this just like that. And I'm going to make a mark on the back because that's where we want to fold this. So I'm going to score right. There, I'm lining that up right there. Okay. That will go here like that, and it's going to come up on the back. Let me slide this out so you can see. We want it to be about I think right there is good because this is going to become a pocket. So I'm going to cut that. And of course you can use your own judgment and especially if you're using different papers. Hold on to that so that you customize it to whatever you're using. Okay. And now we want to cut it there. Well, that did good. I didn't get a decent mark. Let's, there we go. So let's cut that there. And then this will glue on here and come up around there. And I am going to do some distressing. And I'm using a very seldom used wilted violet. I, I love having all my colors, but I just don't always use them. So it's time. You know, I think, I think I'm going to jump in here and do a little on that. Why not? Just in the side of that too. Not that you'll see it, but and then both sides of this. And I'm not sure this wilted violet is the actual color I wanted, but it's what we've got. Do it right there. Sides. And let's get the sides. I did that, but I didn't do this top. Just like that. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. And it's going to be glued on right like. Okay, I think I am going to use this. I think you can go away. And before I start gluing, I'm going to do one thing I need to, to prep to do this closure. 
which is a wax seal. So I have my little, okay, you're stuck in there. I had, I can't even remember what I had. I had some candle holder and I finally bit the bullet and I bought a real melting for the wax seals. So I need to play with fire. And that's why I've got it on like a little tile. And the spoon will go in there. And we'll just slide this back over here where I can keep an eye on it. Okay. So let's glue. Right along here first. This is where I could have done glue stick, but we'll just do this. And we want to make sure that we are lined up nicely. Slide it over a little before it. Oh, come on. There we go. Comes up around. Oh, I see something that didn't get distressed. Those little back sides. Right along here. And along here. I think again, cap that glue. And this will come up like that. And in this back, we can take this leftover and fold it. Slide it in there. It can be a, a little journaling booklet. You can put some signatures in. We could decorate that. All right. Now let's open it just like that. But we need a closure. Now on some of them I did Velcro dots, which you can do. Uh, you can do like a piece of paper and just glue it that far so that it just is a flap up and down. But I want to try this. And I've got a heat resist pad that I'm gonna put right under there because I want this to be overhanging. Okay, set that right there. I used some thin twine and I think I'm going to use this. It's a bit thicker and I think I'm going to do this yellow. This is, oh my goodness, I don't know, 20 years old. One of those things I bought and a, a whole bunch of them and I don't use yellow very often. So I think I figured it's like 36 inches for a yard. Let me fold it in half. Yeah, can you, can you, can you? There, I'm sure there's a bazillion ways you could do this. This is just what I came up with after seeing on Facebook someone had done a closure similarly with this. Okay, I want a piece of tape to hold that down. Now, it'd be good if I figured out where middle is, wouldn't it? Where's middle? Where is middle? No, we're just gonna, we're gonna fly. Is that middle? I think that 
that's close enough. So, get that tape down. And I think I'll tape the top too. These guys are kind of unruly. Just down there. Just, they don't fly around. Okay. Now, pulling back. Let's see, nicely melted. Okay. So here we go. it on so that it's half on the flap and half off and then down goes the stamp and I'm gonna blow out that candle so I don't walk out of here and forget and we're just going to let this sit over here. Let's undo that tape there so we can move it over here. And let that cool while we do this one last thing. We're going to do the zine, the magazine, the little zine, the little zine. Okay. This is another video. I'll link it below. But this one, I think I have... I think I, I came back and gave you a disclaimer about not using a craft knife. So here we are. Fold in half. Fold in half the other direction. And again, you can use whatever paper because there's no measurements. You are just folding to the size of the paper. Okay. Again, we're going to come in have such a hard time seeing it. So let's just grab some of this purple so we know where that middle is. I'm going to meet these at the middle. Meet me in the middle. Okay. And this way. Now, fold it back in the middle, and all we need to do is to cut along there. And I am going to try to make that a little easier. I am going to distress there, and while we're at it, I'm going to distress all these folds. I'm not going to distress around the outside because that may get trimmed. Okay. So now we are going to cut. Oh, I didn't do both sides, did I? I think I heard somebody yelling, do the other side. Do the other side. We'll do it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to cut right on that fold just over to that fold. Okay, you open it up and you fold it in half and it pulls back that way. Okay. Fold there and then you have to decide which looks good for your cover well we've got that that can be the cover we've got that I don't think it folds as well that way I think this is the cover it feels like it folds best that way. Now we are going to cut some thumb notches and where's my circle punch? Got all my punches up here. 
Where are you? Okay, fine. There it is. One, one inch. All right. So, this one, the front one, will have a notch, and I'm going to go to the inside. This is a punch that doesn't love to punch anymore. And I think I'm going to do both here because then I think it will punch better. Yes. And we'll do the same here. So it's seen from both sides. And this one. See if we can make it. Let's open it up and see. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't want to do that. Copy weight paper and punches don't always get along very well. All right, now I want. To do a little gluing and one of the things that I have figured out is that if we glue put a strip of glue I think just here helps hold it together let's find out Man, that's bad. Let's see if we can even that up. Probably should do some sharpening of my... No, no, no. This way. This way. This way. Okay. We'll burnish that glue in there. And then we're going to do a little along here. make that a pocket and we'll make sure we get some glue on my work surface and I can see a little trim right along there okay open this up this needs some on the bottom There. Open that. Need some on the bottom here. Oh, I'm so fumbly today. I think it's because it's spring. Well, it really is not officially spring yet. That comes with that equinox, right? And then let's see. Reach in there. And some glue along there. Okay. Let's do some quick distressing. And I should have distressed those cute little thumb notches before learn from me okay yeah we're gonna just we're gonna just do the best we can with what we've got okay on here and there should have been from when we distressed earlier. Okay, have I got everybody? Nope. 
there. I think that's good. Now, good burnish. And we've got, we can make some tags from those that will slide in right in there. Is that, is that the cover? This is the cover. That's the cover. And the pocket for this one is on the side here. But we can make tags and slide things in at the top and the bottom of our little zine. And it will fit lovely in our pouch. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, so this comes off like that. Take off the tape and release it from this stick. Oh, that looks cute. I I don't use, I, I had to have, I had to, I had to have it and I haven't used it, but now I'm thinking I like that. So this comes around and goes up through that loop and back down and around and through underneath, underneath there. And it could actually be a little longer, couldn't it? Probably should have done a little longer. So go longer than 36. Not that I even know if I did 36, but just like that. And I meant to put our little zine in here. So here it opens up like that. It can hold quite a bit, and especially if you've got a closure that'll expand. And then we can put in dresses when we've got that kit out. And there it is. Comes up and around. Up in here. Okay. So, there we go. From our freebies and a different kind of closure. So, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, welcome. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to know when I'm out in the Bluebird Bungalow creating. If you are my loyal subscribers, thank you so much. It means a lot to hear comments from you. So, take care. And we'll see you again very soon with the little dresses. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.